Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim, and he writes, "We are kulam on all of these things." Meaning, when a person speaks lashon hara, oiver oiver amitzah say des Hashem alakecha tira. When a person speaks lashon hara, he's also transgressing the commandment of you have a mitzvah to fear Hashem. She is honored by Zel Lihiram and Lifnei Hashem Yisbarach Kol Yimei Chayenu. We are commanded to fear our Kodesh Baruch Hu all the days of our life, fear or reverence of Hashem. And when such an opportunity to speak Lashon Hara comes to our hands, we are obligated to awaken and arouse ourselves and remind ourselves that Hashem is Mashkiach, He's watching over every single act that a person is involved in. And Hashem is going to repay us for the wickedness or the evilness or the sourness of our actions. Speak Lashon Hara. HaKadosh Baruch is going to repay us for that negatively. And once that a person thinks that Hashem is watching, Hashem's ears are listening to me, He knows the words of Lashon I'm saying. We should hold ourselves back from transgressing the ruts and the will of Hashem. And certainly somebody who just makes themselves completely at the whim of speaking Lashon Hara and Rechilis and tail-bearing, Bittel Aseizu, he certainly will transgress this positive commandment of fearing Hashem. When you speak Lashon Hari and you know that HaKadosh Baruch is listening, it shows that you have no year, you have no fear, no awe of Hashem. The Akulam and in all the people that speak Lashon Hara, Oyeve Bezaz Man Shil Sipar Lashon Hara Rechilas, at the time that you are speaking Lashon Hara, you also transgress our mitzvah's essay, Shalimarat Limut Taira, Shimitzah Essay Gemura. You're also losing out on the midst of learning Torah, which is a, a, a positive commandment. Like the Rambam himself explains. Everybody who counts up the 613 mitzvahs, all of the Rishayim, the earlier commentaries and the like, who, who, who go through the 613 mitzvahs, learning Torah is one of the mitzvahs. There is no end to the reward that you can receive for learning Torah. Learning Torah is commensurate, it's equal to all the other mitzvahs in the Torah. Like it says over there in the Mishnah. All of the mitzvahs cannot equal even one word of Torah. And therefore, the opposite is also true. If Talmud Torah, Keneged Kulam, learning Torah, equals to all the mitzvahs, the Vilna Gaon says even more. He says that means that every single word of Torah that you say is equal to 613 mitzvahs. So for every letter, every word of Torah that you learn, you're getting possibly hundreds and hundreds. And by the time that you finish one line in the, in the Gemara, one line in the Chumash, one hour shir that you go to, it's tens of thousands of mitzvahs that a person received. But the other is also true. Someone that disregards the learning of Torah and he just pushes it off to the side, even though that he could have learned, is equal to all the avoinas, all the sins. Like I say, just teach us can forgive when a Jew transgresses the three cardinal sins. But Hashem does not overlook the sin of Bittal Torah of canceling out one's learning. And therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, you should know that at the time that you're speaking Lashon Art, you could have been learning Torah. When you're running around as a Rachel, you're doing tail-bearing and telling people all the things that people said, you are losing out from the midst of learning Torah. And therefore, it's a terrible sin, not only because you spoke Lashon you transgressed that, but because you denied yourself the greatest schus in the world. And that is using your mouth and using your mind to read and to think about and to learn the words of Torah. And when a person does that, the schar, the reward, is, is uh, infinite. 
of what a person is going to receive. Instead of the terrible punishments that a person can receive Khalila for being Mavato Taira and for speaking Lashon Hara at that time. Okay, let's guard our mouths the last days of the year. Let's use our speech wisely and Be'ez Hashem will be Zaycha Bedin will merit to have a good and a positive judgment for the year ahead. All the best.